Hello and welcome again to my stream. Uh, Ambriam is, is my channel name and my YouTube is Ambriam. This video will go straight to YouTube so you can watch it there later if you'd like to. Um, I just started uh, making videos about StarCraft playing recently. Um, I'm focusing right now on uh, my Protoss versus Terran because I've been having the most trouble against Terran, especially especially in the late game. Um, I, I have a really hard time dealing with large groups of bio that have Stim and Vikings. Um, it's I, I just can't keep up with their production. So I'm trying all I'm trying several different ways of attacking Terran in the early game and shutting them down before they can even get a second base or or get any of those later text text bleh, tech stuff. This game, last game, I uh, focused on just a couple stalkers and the mothership core getting into their base early and winning. Uh, that way, this game is going to uh, focus on winning with an oracle. So he did a good job of blocking my my initial probe scout. I set, then sent my probe. You can see on the mini map all the way around his base up into this top corner. The reason I did that is it's pretty far away from his reaper path, and uh, it allows me to put a stargate on this side of his base with easy access to his mineral line. Um, Sejong Station is awesome because it has all of this airspace around the base, which his units can't really get to very easily, so I can fly in and out with an Oracle and kill, kill SCVs uh, quite easily. Um, now he gets his Reaper in at a good time because my Stalker left, but my Mothership Corps is there um, to stop him. Um, one thing I didn't do so well in this game, uh, we'll start with that, uh, is I didn't have a third gateway out yet. Um, I, I kind of sacrificed some of my gateways to get out my Stargate early, so I'm a little bit uh, vulnerable at the moment to attack. Um, in this situation, if I, if he's being aggressive, I'll often put a forge down, have a cannon in my mineral line, and a cannon at the front to deal with either wood mine drops or other things. But uh, this particular game, all I had to deal with was the Reaper, and uh, so I was able to get my Stalker, my first Stalker, into his base before the first bunker gets down. If you can get a Stalker, one Stalker, or one Stalker and a Zealot, or one Stalker and a Mothership Corps into his base before that bunker, you're in really good shape, because you'll, you'll be able to kill off a couple SCVs, a couple Marines, and there's not much that he can do about it, uh, just because of the, the hit points on that Stalker. So, I didn't do the best job um, of microing, but I did take off the SCV building the command center, and I killed off uh, two Marines at the same time. So, that's a pretty good trade. Um, his biggest mistake is seeing, seeing my early aggression. He spends 400 minerals on the command center, another 300 minerals on two barracks, and then 150 minerals on this factory, and he has nothing. No units. I mean, he's got two Marines, and he's got one Reaper, which cannot hold a, a you know stalker aggression it cannot hold oracle aggression of course he doesn't know the oracle, oracle aggression is coming but what he should have done when he saw that early stalker was put an immediate bunker down here or here and uh start producing widow mines out of this factory um i most of my early aggression gets shut down by widow mines because i just i can't deal with losing an entire stalker instantly um and I don't have the money to have a, um, an observer out this early. Sometimes I do go robo um, and get that observer out. But uh, anyway, let's let's continue. So he's if if he gets past this point in the game, he's going to have a great economy, two bases, and good production facilities. But my build is entirely designed on hitting him before all of that stuff kicks in. Um, he sends over a couple of Reapers, not Reapers, Marines to deal with my Oracle, um, but one Oracle can deal with, I think it's up to five Marines, um, especially if they come in one at a time like this. So if you see under six Marines, uh, you can probably kill all of them, and then you have free reign to kill SCVs. So I just went ahead and did that. Um, the Oracle gets a ton of SCV kills. Um, it comes out with 11 kills, so three of those were Marines, which means that I killed... Uh, do some math. Uh, eight, yeah, I killed eight SCVs, and I get out scot-free with my Oracle. Um, uh, and at this point, I think I'm pretty far ahead in my um, in my SCVs. Yeah, I have 26, 26 probes to his 11 SCVs, and I'm in extremely good shape. Um, my I've been chrono boosting my uh, my gateway research so that I can. Um, 
transfer them to warp gates. I've got a third gateway coming in. I've got a proxy pylon about to go up. Let's see that happen. I'm doing some damage up front with my mothership core. Um, I almost lose that, which would have been pretty bad. Um, I did lose a stalker, which was nice by him, but uh, I've still got the threat of the oracle and my second wave of, of this pretty much all in. I mean, three gateway stargate, you, you can expand behind it, um, but uh, you kind of have to decide if you really want if you really want to just finish the game, just go all in, and if you if your all in fails, you know, GG and start a new game. It's it's not uh, that big a deal. So I'm going to slow it down so we can see the ending of this. The Oracle gets some more kills. It gets a fresh mule, and the uh, most important thing uh, that Stargate uh, units can do is it can pull their units to the back of their base so that their front is completely undefended. He has no Marines up front, and one of my favorite things to follow up an Oracle with is is one or two Void Rays, because the Void Rays can bust a, a bunker quite easily. You know, you, it can. You, there's either Void Rays or there's Immortals that can help you bust a bunker, and since I'm doing a Stargate this time, um, I got the Void Rays. And he's really torn. Like, he, he sends a Marauder back here. You, you can tell he's a little bit flustered, because Marauders obviously can't shoot up against Oracles, but uh, he, he just doesn't... He doesn't have the defense up front, he doesn't have a turret back here, and I have double his workers at this point, so it's it's a pretty, at, at this point, it's a pretty easy win, but there was a lot of, you know, a lot of little things that I did to get to this point, um, and uh, he just, he couldn't possibly hold at this point, so it was a GG. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to try some some more of these, maybe a DT early aggression, and maybe a Warp Prism early aggression. I'm just going to try all different kinds and post as many of them to YouTube as possible. So, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.